Hey, what's going on guys? This is Empty Cup coming at you with another tutorial video for Silent Hunter 5. You need to have the Wolf of Steel Subsame Community Expansion Pack installed for this to work. So, uh, Empty Cup, what's this tutorial all about? I hear you cry. Well, I guess the title gave it away a little bit, but uh, you see how nice and clean my screen is. If I do this, everything is going to pop right back in and then it's going to fade out again. So that's what I'm going to show you guys. I'm going to show you how to set up the immersive hub for a cleaner and nicer experience in the game for you. Oops, that was weird, but uh, hey ho, even uh, even the periscope has gotten some love, so let me just uh, show you the periscope here real quick, like. Alrighty then. So you see how nice and clean this is. This is very good for setting up an attack during the night, because you, d you don't have all of this stuff uh, brighten up your screen, you see. All of this, this is default, right? And when it's dark outside, this makes it harder to see in the periscope. So when you have put all this to fade out, it's easier to see in the dark. Very nifty stuff. So that's what it's going to be all about. So uh, let's get started with that right away. Okay, guys, so let's get started. So the first thing you are going to do is to head over to the Subsim forums, as always, uh, and uh, head over to this post uh, by Peter, aka the Burbster, and here... <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me very much. So, uh, in, in this post from Peter, you will find all the information you ever need about Silent Hunter 5, how to do this, how to do that, how to not do this, how to not do that. You have everything you would ever need to know in this massive post. But we are going to go up to the top, uh, head down to post number 6, the option file editor viewer installing it correctly. And that's going to bring us over to this page, you're going to scroll down to picture number 8, and we are going to find the option file editor viewer. So you're going to head over to... Okay, let me just close this so it's easier for you to see. You're going to head over to your Silent Hunter 5 install location. And here is the Silent Hunter 5 map. You're going to head over to data, applications, and option file editor viewer. Open this bad boy right up. and. It's going to prompt you for a language you want to see this in. You have some options uh, right here. You have uh, Deutsch, English, France or French, <laughs> Italian or Russian. I use English because I like that the best. I can read it. So mine is in English. Okay, sweet. So the next thing you're going to do is to head down here. You're going to Go to File, Set Path to Menu Text, Typical Location Path should be, or could be, see Ubisoft Sun Hunter 5, if we are using the Wolf of Steel, which we are, we are on 1.6 now, so don't, don't bother about this number, that can be whatever, okay? And you're going to head over to Sun Hunter 5, Mods, the Wolf of Steel, data and menu. Let me show you. So, okay, sorry about that. Let's open uh, this one. File, set path to menu text, Silent Hunter 5, mods, The Wolf of Steel 1.6, data, menu, and here it is, menu, this text document. Just press this and you are good. Alright, back 
to Peter. Click on file again. Set the path to Sound 35 install location. Well, that's pretty easy, guys. Right? Oh, I keep, I keep uh, opening the wrong thing. Uh, set the path to Sound 35 install install location. So I have mine on a separate drive. It's going to be right here on games. Sound Hunter 5 and hit OK. If yours are on C, you're just going to mark Sound Hunter 5. So this is blue and click OK. Don't go about messing with the files inside of this folder. Just keep it like this and hit OK. And you should be good. Next, click File again and open the top open, not the button. This one, the, the first open. We now need to find the .py file. Typical location path should be this is the default location. See Ubisoft Sound Hunter 5 mods, the Wolf of Steel, data scripts, menu. Open the menu folder, you will now see the dark right user options py file. Okay, so let's define this right away and again I open this bloody thing all right file open not this one but this one oh I already have it here so we are in Silent Hunter 5 head over to mods the Wolf of Steel 1.6 data Scripts Menu And here it is the dark right user options PY file just mark this and That's going to open up your file editor viewer Let's minimize this So th there is a lot of uh, Pages here the first one we are heading over to is the HUD and we are going to do some changes here for making the HUD visible on mouse in and disappear on mouse out. So we are going to scroll down to this one. Top right hand side bars hide when you mouse out and show when you mouse in. You're going to press this little plus sign and on yours it's going to say false right there. Double click false and change it to true. And then you're going to have a blue check mark beside it like this when you have done that you're going to jump down to the next line hit this plus sign and here you can change the value of how many seconds you want it to be visible i have put mine to three seconds i think the default is five yes so i have it visible a little bit shorter than the default time because i don't need the this up in here visible for that long so I have it uh, on three seconds but this is uh, all personal preferences okay head on to essential controls that is the bar down in uh, in your left corner you are going to do the same double click false change it to true so you have the blue check mark head down one line and I have put this at three seconds as well and the rest uh, camera bar scrolls out I think this is set to true by default if not you can change it yeah I think this is the I think this is checked by default because there is no you cannot change the time on, on it so yeah so then we are done with the HUD then we are going to head over to TDC and if you want your periscope like mine where everything is hidden you're going to go to attack periscope and you're going to double click this top file and you're going to change it to no TDC dials because uh, I can make the dials up 
appear by clicking a button on my periscope so I can make up my own mind when I want them to be shown or not. So I have set this to no TDC dials. The same with observation periscope, the same with the Uzo. When you have changed these to your personal likings, you're going to head down to Scope's Periscope Depth Indicator. Change this from false to true. Again, you would want the blue check mark. And here I have put this at 20 seconds because this is in my periscope and uh, I would like to see those dials a little bit longer. When you have done that, you're going to head down to Scope's Torpedo Box do the same, false to true, and look for the blue check mark. And I have put this at 20 seconds as well. Okay, so that's all about the TDC. Now we are going to scroll a little bit further over until we see message box. That is the little white square down in your right corner where everything is written. You can make that disappear as well. Uh, so you're going to head on to the, this one, message box scrolls, hide when mouse out and show when mouse in. Again, from false to true, and I have set this at 10 seconds, because I want this to be visible just for a little bit longer, maybe I, maybe I should drop it to 8, or 7. No, fuck it, then I have to... Uh, I'm just going to leave it at 10. <laughs> okay, so when you have done all of this... <coughs> Excuse me, guys. So when you have done all of this, you are done in the options file edit of yours. So just uh, close this bad boy right up and uh, head back into your Solid Hunter 5 install location and you're going to find the generic mod enabler. Open it right up, disable all of your mods. If you don't do this, the changes are not going to show up in game. When you have disabled them, just go ahead and, and uh, enable them again, in the same order, that is very important. If you mess up the order, you can uh, set yourself up for a buggy game. So that's about it guys, when you have activated them again in the same order you can just uh, happily go ahead and play the game with the immersive HUD and I think this is patrol friendly as well you can do this whenever you want to so uh, because you have not changed anything in uh, the install order you have not added any new mods uh, you have just changed the HUD in the game so uh, yeah you can do this whenever you want to so uh, go ahead and check it out guys you will love it that's all for today guys thank you very much for watching and have a glorious day